Oh, what are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. I was following your daughter's ghost. I think she wants me to do something. Here we go! This is gonna be really creepy for you, Nate, but I hope you enjoy. Don't be sad, Daddy. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now! We're here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Helen. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again! I can't. They've gone. Please, don't leave me. Don't leave me. I miss them so much. Press X to hug? Nope, just gonna walk away. Okay, Jody. <laughs> Those were the old days when Nate had a really small office. He got a promotion eventually. Black Sun, ooh. There's no real space between Black Sun and Prologue. I don't like the sound of Black Sun. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the Infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now we're gonna launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers and this is just the beginning. Now this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Boy, this sounds evil. We're gonna conquer this other world of spirits that easily kill everybody in an area until we shut down a machine that 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 brings them out. Smart. Oh god. We're both alive. Now I have to deal with Ryan. God, why'd I say yes? Just deal with it. Pentagon top brass getting you down. McGrath. McGrath makes me sick. Just a typical cynical asshole. You know, I would be doing the country a favor if I let Aiden take care of him. We played our part in all of this. Regrets, indifferent, manipulated, right? We did the right thing. I don't think humanity needs a third world war. I guess that's one way to look at it. So what are you gonna do now? Friends, normal life, far away, don't know. Maybe I'll go back to the people I like. And the people who like me for who I truly am. I haven't met too many along the way. <laughs> and what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I mean, I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen. Jody, I... I know it's been complicated between us. 
And I, I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. Uh, what about I didn't know? Well, just accept it. It's worth a try. Aiden can just deal with it, right? He doesn't really have any option in all this. I will do whatever it takes to make you happy. You know, forget about all this. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? Never say no to a single malt. <laughs> Great, I'll see you in a bit. Let's go, Jody, Nathan's waiting. Wow, cock block. The ultimate cock block. He just came in like, hey, hey. Hey, Nathan needs you. Come along. Hi, Ryan. Bye, Ryan. Actually, hey, Ryan. Why don't you come in for a malt? Smooth, Cole. Ryan's a good guy, and I think he really cares about you. Pessimist, careful. Optimist? Yeah, optimist. I know. I want to do everything I can to make it work. Isn't it fucking ominous to have this giant yellow passage room next to everybody? I mean, like, what if the containment thing shuts down and suddenly just everyone gets blasted by entities? I'm just saying. It'd be a bad idea. Let's check out... This, uh, they can't go in there. All right, let's go see Nate. Now that we have all this CIA business out of the way, something's gonna happen, and it's gonna be super dramatic. I mean, you don't have a chapter called right, Black Sun. Are. Call me when you're done. I'll come pick you up. <laughs> Unless something catastrophic happens. Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Okay. That doesn't really inspire a lot in me, but, yeah, let's go visit Nate. I'm in. This is such an overly sized Jody. office, holy shit. Oh, I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. Is this money? Or all my files? Oh, hey! You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. Five, five hundred. Five hundred thousand dollars for services rendered. That should help make a new start. Yeah, I'm gonna accept it. Thanks. Gonna fucking refuse five hundred thousand dollars. Before you go, oh boy. There's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident fifteen years ago. I wanted to die, too. I cried a lot. Banging my head against the wall, trying to figure out why, why. Why them? Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. 
But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. Oh no. The government gave me everything I needed to study the infraworld. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years. But I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. Helen. It seems like they're being tortured, though. Laura, I miss you so much. I come to see them every day. Soon we'll be together. I'm working on a modified condenser that can communicate with the souls of the infraworld. Speaking with the dead Jody, can you imagine? What do you want from me? I want you to help me talk to them. I want to hear their voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Uh, reject, refuse, accept. I want, I'm interested. Give me your hands. Boundless curiosity is the end of all men. Alright, let's do this. That's not true! You're lying! I know they want to be with me again! I know they want to be with me! Sympathetic. Nathan, I know how you feel. You know nothing about how I feel! You hear me? Nothing! Goodbye, Nathan. Well, let's hope that Nathan doesn't get really pissed off or something and screws with the container or something. I don't know. Because that's really terrifying. Seriously. It's a giant black sun. Oh boy. Let it be. Hope that the DP DPA don't fuck with things again. I don't know why the military is so eager to try and, like, abuse this stuff. I mean, you have to be morons to really do it. But hey, maybe we'll be able to just live a normal life for a while. Things are gonna go to shit. Whoa! Wait, hey, uh, what? What? Hi, Johnny. Good to see you. You said I could fucking leave! Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. I don't know what you'll do on the other side. 
So does anyone appropriate? Ah, uh, no, they're gonna do what they did to my mom. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. You fucking assholes! A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Johnny. We will always. Grateful for your help. Oh, come on, no, Aiden's gotta be able to do something. Also, I've been called Aiden, Aiden, I think it's Aiden. Now, I'm not sure. Oh. Aiden, 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 triangle, please! Do something! Jody. You opened my eyes. It was so obvious, but I didn't want to see. What? Help me. I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. What? What are you, what are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate Don't! it. Don't! The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death, united in one world. It's not just on the other side. It's death. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. Release me and maybe Everything. I'll trust you. It's gonna turn out fine. Well, I guess him turning out the containment field will release me. God damn it, people. How can people be con so consistently idiotic? Oh, thank you, Aiden. It's about fucking time. You're too weak, Aiden. Is it because of the, the thing? Find something else. Damn it! It's gotta be something, 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 something I can do. Something. Get help. Hurry. Okay. Maybe Ryan and they're having a molt, right? Where is everybody? Where's the rest <gasps> of your team? Vince and Nick? <laughs> they have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Guys, okay, I, I, I'm glad you guys are having a conversation. Hey, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Okay. Help! For the love of God, Ryan! Help! You'd think they'd get used to this shit by now. Like, oh, things randomly falling over? Gotta be Aiden. Aiden, stop fucking with your emails. What the fuck? You guys are so slow. How are you guys gonna help me? Okay, sorry about that. Uh, just before we get back into it and shove things around Ryan and him. Um, for some reason, my HD PVR glitched out and just emitted this high-pitched, shrilling noise straight through my headset. And for a second, I thought it was the game. Like, maybe the containment field was turned off and Aiden was just got, gotten screwed over. And then I, know, I looked over again after I threw my headset off and I saw that they were continuing to talk. So I paused the game. I was like, the fuck? And, um... Yeah, that was just weird. I fixed it, so let's just continue. What's going Aiden? on? Hi. Is that you, Aiden? This is a joke. It's not funny. Why would Aiden be here? Yo! She's in trouble! What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Show us the way. 
Okay. <laughs> Go for it. How do I direct them right. along the way? Now where? Okay, well, head to this. This way. Yes. Finally, you guys get it. You're not that slow. This way. Over there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I get it. Although it's weird that it's showing my link line over here when Jody's not actually over here. There we go. It's just trying to help us out. So they can get directed to where we are. Here we go. You want us to take the elevator? Is that it? No, I opened it so you could just stare at it. I think we're on floor four. Pow! Okay, so how are we going to do this? We need to lead them over here. Shit, my guard. Uh, leave it to me. Can I help you? Cole Freeman, I have level three authorization. He's with me. Hmm, I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. Well, I'd say we could try possess him, but we're kind of weak. You gotta get us past Maiden. Ring, ring, ring. Desk forty-two. Hello. 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 Oh, we're inserting the information. Okay. You guys are good now. Head back. He's done it. I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman and Ryan Clayton? I'm sorry. You are on the list. My apologies. Um, go on through. <laughs> ah, yes. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. Maybe you shouldn't say that right in front of the, the guard guy. <laughs> Just say. Alright, so where are we heading? We are going this way. Maybe I don't want to set off the alarm. But punching the window is totally okay! I don't know exactly where we are. Are we straight through this room? No, we are a little bit further ahead. I'm glad we're capable of going so far when she's in a weakened state. Right. Now where? Yes, well, I'll wait until you're actually within line of sight of this area. I think she's in this room, right? I yeah. Am. Yes! Okay! Here! There! Jody's here? Yes! 